yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have. We got T.I. on Megan the Stallion. A march for R. Kelly. Crazy, right? We got Black China making time for the lonely and Ice Cube giving a political party the cold shoulder. Yo, you knew I had to, right? Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe, my nigga. Shout out to the notification gang holding us down. Salute. Yo, those that are seeing us in the comment section, whether good or bad, we definitely do appreciate you coming to the channel. We're trying to build a community here. Oh, by the way, be sure to check our community channel next to playlists and if you're new to the channel check out some of our old videos yo it might help you get an idea of some of the history behind some of the situations that are going on right now in the culture matter of fact yo don't do that our older content might be whack and you and i both know that i'm lying yo step into the stage is the trouble man yo i love this dude right yo most of the time he be on point with what he's saying now when it comes to tory lanes I was just listening to the freestyle he did on Hot 97 a couple years ago. Now, here's the sad part, right? Lyrically, the dude's flow is nice. I mean, he had a classic 90s flow articulate, right? No mumbling, internal rhyme schemes, internal rhyme schemes on deck, the whole nine. My man has lyrical flavor. The rhyme style, hard. Lyrically, he could destroy a lot of cats out there today, unfortunately. All of that goes down to two because it was muddied up by what went down with Megan the Stallion. Now, since the incident, we haven't heard anything from his side. The closest I could get, right, to a word from him are his lyrics. Now, I, I guess I'm bent out of shape because his freestyle happened a long time ago, right? And we ain't think nothing of the content until it became a reality. Because, yo, right, I thought it's only lyrics, right? It's only lyrics until it ain't yo take a listen at what ti had to say about the whole incident man that shit fucked up bro that shit fucked up you know what i'm saying that shit gonna be that shit gonna stain that damn ah uh, damn how in the fuck you shoot a girl in a bikini what the fuck? That's crazy. God damn. Mm -mm, that's unacceptable. I didn't say, I'm not saying she would lie. I'm not saying anyone, I'm not calling anybody to lie. I'm just saying, I can't imagine. That shit is unimaginable. Just, that shit crazy. Yeah, that shit fucked up. Um. Mm. I don't have no words. I'm just waiting on the whole story. I just need to hear everything. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, him shooting her, that's 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 preposterous. And under no circumstances should any man be, you know, accepted for, for shooting uh, a black woman. Uh, any woman, any woman, any woman, <laughs> any, woman. <laughs> any, woman. <laughs> any woman. But, you know, especially, especially black women. Um... Shit, man, I wouldn't let nobody be talking. Man, Tori, you need to say something, bro. You need to, come on, man. Clear this. You need to say something, bro. Exactly. You're going to have to speak to this. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, to be honest with you, you have a lot of fans and supporters. You got a lot of people who out here, man, who stand next to you, stood next to you, do music with you. You got to, you know what I'm saying? At least call somebody on the phone and say something. You know what I mean? You got to say something, bro. This shit looking bad. You know what I mean? Well, mm, mm, mm. Hey, Tamika, what could you do to me to make me shoot you in your foot? Nothing, baby. <laughs> what do you think, like, for real? What could you do to me? What you think I could do what to you? What could you do to me? I'm trying to think, man. I, I could do nothing to you. I'm just saying. What could you? I don't think that I could do anything to yeah. How the F are you gonna shoot a girl in a bikini? What the blank? Yo, that's crazy. 
I don't have words. I'm just waiting on the whole story. I need to hear everything. In other words, the trouble man wants a comprehensive view. One side of the story isn't enough. Now, whatever Tori says at this point won't be able to justify his actions. Please don't get us wrong, right? But even if he said, yo, I was aiming at the floor to scare her, right? Which would still be ridiculous. But even if he said, I was aiming at the floor to scare her, but... <laughs> You know, I, I, the, the fragments hit a foot. Now, it would still be ridiculous, but it would be better than him saying absolutely nothing at all. Instead, right? Instead, we're, we're stuck thinking that he aimed directly at her. Yo, let me be clear. It wouldn't justify his actions. Now, T.I. also said, man, Tori, you need to say something, bro. Come clear with this. You got to say something, bro. This ish is looking bad. Close quote. Now, we could be wrong, but... I suspect his team is telling him, yo, don't say anything. We got it under control, but I don't think they do. Perhaps they're saying, if you say anything, we can't cover you and you'll be deported. You'll be in jail. I don't know. I don't know. But Trouble Man, is seems, it seems like Trouble Man is making a lot of sense right now. Local officials are aiming to put R. Kelly behind bars. Men and women flooded the streets of Chicago, demanding justice for the singer and also marching for his freedom. You would think they're marching for Nelson Mandela. Yo, we seen the footage, man. I mean, I didn't personally see it, right? Because I don't really want to see all of that. But I know that it exists, man. They were selling it on Jamaica Avenue. Yo, like, why is it? <laughs> do, do they not know what he did? No, they're like, oh, he had hot tracks, celeb. You don't, you don't understand. Get over it. That's like the people that say slavery was so long ago. Get over it. These folks are hitting the streets, right? They're chanting, free R. Kelly to where were the parents while carrying banners that read justice for R. Kelly. Now, his trial date was set for October 20th. But it was stated that it would be delayed, citing, quote, pandemic and its related difficulties, including the need to quarantine witnesses and the difficulties associated with the trial of this magnitude in the current environment. Close quote. Now, folks are saying, and I'm not making this up, OK, I, I like trapped in a closet. Folks said, and this is crazy. Folks said, quote, that is not Mr. R. Kelly's fault. And that should not be Mr. Kelly's problem. And Mr. Kelly should not be the one who has to suffer remaining in archaic jail conditions that are medieval so that the government can more conveniently prosecute its case. Yo, take a look at the march. <laughs> Yo, do we not keep you entertained? I mean, if Salor, if, if Salor, if Celeb Source keeps you entertained, hit the thumbs up button, please, just in case you didn't. If you hate us, subscribe. You should have subscribed already. Do you need a personal invitation? Okay, Bobby Nelson, Kenyatta Ellison, Anthony Mackey, Mr. Mellow Man, go on and press that subscribe button, man. Come on. I'm just playing. But yo, salute if you did, man. Respect, okay? Black China is pulling an old 1900 stunt and charging her fans $950 to have a face to face time call with her. Yes, if you are a child of the 80s and the 90s, you will have remembered those old 1900 numbers that were $80 the first minute and 15 cents each additional minute, which most likely wound up costing you about $950. Yes, you got beat for that. Now, anyway, Black China. She's decided to continue to hustle and charge her fans the same amount, but it doesn't stop there, right? If you want her to follow you, you can pay her the lower price of $250 just so she can follow you on Instagram or, you know, social media or what have you, okay? I think it would be better if she could follow you in real life, like your actual footsteps. I might pay $250 for that. Then I would lead her right into church. Now, Black China stated, quote, 
I'm a hustle queen. I don't care. How legendary is that for a follow back? $250. That's it. Close quote. That's it. Yo, she must not be aware of how many crazy people there are out there in the streets that will probably pay the $950. Do you know the awkwardness of those conversations? How awkward it would be? I would pay to watch that. The, see, I think I'm in the wrong business. Celeb Source could set it up, right? That we will pay your, we will charge your favorite artist $899 for them to insult us in person. Right? But only for 20 seconds, man. That's the most I could take. And they got to pay up front. And finally, if you know anything about politics, right? There are two major political parties, left wing, right wing. Now, one political party tends to promote themselves as the party that stands for minorities. Now, oftentimes, we don't see them doing much for minorities, but that's a different discussion, okay? This is generally the same party that will try to incorporate celebrities as a means to garner your vote for office while they propose and back policies that incarcerate minorities at, a, at stunningly higher rates and maintain systematic policies that work against minorities, <laughs> right? I mean, if you don't know, you don't know, okay? On the issues.org, it'll help you out, trust me. Ice Cube had a bit to say following the Democratic National Convention. Yo, take a listen. They took three trillion out they behind and gave it to their friends. That's your money. Where is the bailout for the 42% black businesses that are closing? Yo, the more you look into this stuff, right? The more you realize folks talk a good game, but their actions often prove otherwise, right? So, so, so let us know what you think. Is the extent of your knowledge of politics the casual conversation you'd have at a bar? I know when my tire's flat, but I don't know the intricacies of being a mechanic. Yo, and this just in. Now, we wouldn't be news, right, if we didn't give you all the sides of a particular event. Now, when it comes down to the situation involving Corey Miller, Master P's brother, right? Master P already made his statement concerning how he feels about folks, uh viewing him as an ATM of sorts. Now, there was a post that was thrown out there that said, essentially, and it looks like it's coming from family members. It says, blank Master P, Percy Miller, and any other bandwagon hoppers, and that's straight from the Miller family. Where the blank have you been while we selling socks and making petitions to support Corey? Because you want wanting nothing to do with him. My mama been back and forward for years, making the call, sending money, and going on visits. Y'all waited for the media's attention to care. Family don't rock like that. You was gonna let him rock. Now, the person also posted a clip, an uh, image of, uh, I believe, herself, where it says, Master P, you wouldn't even take Big Mama's calls. You called back days later and told the rest of the family not to answer Corey's calls. Now, we don't know why she's, this happened. Also, she stated, you know, your own father, Percy Sr., caught fire in the city, almost condemned the house. Uh, he was living on one side while the other side was still burned and falling apart at Master P. You wouldn't even pay for the $700 dress Big Mama was buried in. You only visited her once in the hospital. Stop it. She died down here, poor with us. Now, after all of that, Master P provided his response. This response came about three hours ago. Right now, it's 5 10, right? That's the time it is, Sunday, 5:10. So this came out approximately what three hours ago. Okay, whatever. We late. Okay. Master P stated the following. He said, They always say, What do you get the man that has everything? What about love? A card, or even just thank you. If any family members have a receipt of that to me, I'll cut the ATM back on. It's been over 30 years. I'm tired of supporting people's addictions and bad habits. Who would y'all be mad at if I was dead? Because it seems like none of y'all want to work. Wow. I'm no longer enabling lazy, ungrateful people. Please go get a job and a career. And for the ones that do have degrees and careers, maybe y'all could take over and buy houses and cars for y'all generation. And if they are ungrateful, then you would understand how I feel. I'm not God. I'm only human. The only difference is I decided to do the right thing and chase my dreams and goals. When I made it, I was too generous to my family and friends, and that was the problem. I love y'all, but enough is enough. In my 50 cent voice, I ain't doing it no more, man. P.S. This is how you know it's hate. I ain't the only millionaire in this family, just for the record. 
When you do the right thing, God will keep blessing you. Envy and jealousy gets you nowhere. Hashtag happy Sunday. I don't want to hear, quote, keep this off the internet. I'm just saying what a lot of successful people or even just people with jobs that are working want to say to their family. The truth hurts. It's uncomfortable. But it's the only way we can get back to the love. For the bloggers and gossipers, now y'all know the truth. I'm going back to work to provide for my kids. People or just people with jobs that are working want to say to their family. I'm assuming you're saying this is what, you know, they want to say to their family, okay? Oh, matter of fact, yeah, I already said that part. Now, he also added the picture, Master P ATM is out of orders to family and friends. Go get a job. Yo, this is relatively painful. I know it's painful for him to have to do it because this is people that he most likely grew up with, right? People that, you know, he went to the barbecue with. They had good time, family gatherings or what have you. All those events took place, right? And now with this situation of somebody being locked up and he being the one that has a lot of money, a millionaire, it's 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 almost a given that they're going to look at him and say, yo, man, what are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? As if he did absolutely nothing. I, I, I mean, you, you know, everybody has their own size, right? Word is born, I'm on the side of this, right? I'm on my side, how about that? We on Celeb Source side. Celeb Source side is this, okay? You don't make money, you earn money. You go and get your money. If you roll with the wrong people and the wrong things go down, the wrong things happen, then that's the consequences of just rolling with the wrong crew. That's just what it is. Some people roll with the wrong crew and know nothing go down. They lucky, right? They, they got off, okay? Some people, they roll with the wrong crew, boom, they get slapped with all kinds of charges because they was rolling with the wrong crew. That's just what it is, okay? I don't care who it is, whoever I'm talking to, I let them know, yo, you rock with the wrong people and you're going you gonna, you gonna to get what they what's supposed to be coming to them, that's going to be coming to you too. That's just what it is, okay? Now, you know, some folks, they make money. When I'm broke, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be hoping for somebody to look out for me. That's just what it is. But I know at the end of the day, man, I got to go earn this check. And I can't be mad at anybody else just because they made a little bit more ends than me. Yo, sometimes it go down that way, man. That's just what it is. Family or no family, everybody got to work, okay? Scriptures say straight off the top, you don't work, you don't eat. Now, the scriptures also say, man, we got to take care of those, you know what I'm saying, that are less fortunate. But we don't, we would be remiss to enable anybody's bad habits or addictions or their greed yo let us know what you think in the comments below be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source for celeb news